Ay, ay, ay. Welcome Ooh. to the OSRS podcast, where we talk to RuneScape content creators about RuneScape content. Except no content here. We are finally back. I'm at Metcat, one of your hosts, followed by... What's going on, boys? Rex, as always. And hey, it's me, Rexco, again. <laughs> and then uh, we got Papa Rexy down in the bottom right. And uh, just make sure, if you don't drop a like on this video, he will come down your chimney. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> and you can interpret oh, however dude. you like. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Um, but uh yeah we've been gone for a bit a good while and we've all been kind of doing our own things and i thought before we get into the nice runescape or we all thought before we get into the nice runescape content we just do a nice little overlay of where we've been what we've been up to and then of course where we're gonna go from here with the podcast uh right yeah. i think uh you should definitely start my friend yeah man um i mean we always get like we always seem to get busy over december don't we i think that from now on we should just be like in december boys let's just not do a podcast because none of us have the time to do it and then it takes us a couple of weeks to like for one of us to message each other being like yo should we do a podcast we probably should but um so for me i haven't really been doing anything runescape related for the last two months uh i actually went to hospital for a month and um I'm kind of out of the loop, to be honest with you. So I'm really looking forward to hearing what these guys have been up to and hearing about RuneScape stuff. Um, yeah, I, I can go into detail on why I went to hospital, but maybe we'll save that for a little bit later in the podcast because it's, it's a whole story in its own. So I, I just right. say that. I was in hospital for a month. Christmas is Christmas. And um, I'm feeling better now. Thank God. Finally. It's the looking return. up. The return. <laughs> Yeah, Dude, nice I, I was worried, back. man. I was worried because Rice is like, "Hey, did you hear Racy's in the hospital?" I'm like, "What? He's in the hospital?" He goes, "Yeah, I don't know. It's something. It's going on." I was just sitting here panicking, did... like, "That sounds horrible." How you did know? you guys even hear? By the way, well, well like... one of your viewers messaged me. He was like, uh, "Yeah, yeah was, you know, you know, guys in the hospital. Uh, um, you know, uh, want to make a make a quick video of of you kind of like giving some word of encouragement." I was like, "Okay, I'll, oh, I'll, man. I'll you know get covered." I was like, and then I hit a mint or something. And, Verf, yeah, I, and I was like, all right, yo, do the shit. And then Dude, I yeah. saw that video and like I'm I'm not gonna lie, like I'll get into it, but like I was really when I was in hospital, I had this really weird thing, and I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but like I've never had this before where I would just randomly, like every hour or so, I would be hit by like a wave of like emotion. And I'd just tear up and get really emotional for like 10 seconds, and then I'd be fine again. It's so I think my hormones or something were all messed up, but um, yeah, I watched that video and it genuinely brought me to tears, man. Like seeing yeah, all of you guys, yeah, it really it really cheered me up because I was like I was really fucking miserable at the time when I re when I watched that video. I was just like, yeah, man, it made me feel good. It felt mm. it felt very good seeing you guys. Really That's did. good. Yeah, shout out to your to your viewer though. Yeah, or, uh, you got some really yeah, dedicated boys, man. And that is, you know, the worst thing about this podcast is that we're all great friends, but we 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 don't even live anywhere near each other. So when something does go down, it's it's it sucks, you know. What are we gonna do? I I can't yeah. you know swim mm -hmm. on over and check breaks <laughs> you out, sadly. So yeah, no, just yeah. glad to have you here, man. Be back. It's 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 good, man. It is. And like, hey, thank you to if anyone solo mission uh, pug in anybody is watching thank you very much guys like the videos were really nice i enjoyed it a lot verf it was it was mm -hmm. really nice to see so yeah well, what about you boys what have you guys been up to let's go with me. uh so i'm supposed to go second uh i was not in the hospital because i'm in america so even if i was sick i just die i couldn't afford that it's, it's too much <laughs> over here uh sure. ended up growing out my hair you know because i'm a big rakesy fan and i wanted to be like oh, him boy it's looking, hey, looking good, man. Nice. Hey, bro, dude. I could, I could hit up the ponytail, too. What do you think, man? Oh, yeah, can you, honestly. Wait, can, you, can you put it into a bun at the back? Like, is it I long could. Enough? I could. Nice. I think. What? Man, do you, you know what? You, you would really sue. You would really sue, like, a hair, like a, like a headband. Like, just taking it back like that. I think a headband would look great on you, man. It's from the yeah. 70s or something. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> make, make it look like one of those, like, cult leaders, you know? Cult leaders. <laughs> <laughs> when I was making the video, Rixie's like, or not Rixie, but Rice is like, damn, you look rich, bro. You look like a crypto millionaire with that long hair. I'm like, bro, I look uh, homeless, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, the opposite ends, bro. Two sides of the same coin. Yeah. True. 
true man they both do nothing at, at a certain point um uh, but <laughs> yeah i uh i took a long break from runescape there was not much keeping me going other than my community and i just felt kind of bad like if i just make a video i could make some money that's kind of like the mindset it was like total unmotivation i could go in the wild clap no some ass upload it um but i was like why would i just spam videos like that i mean if i was a part of my audience i wouldn't watch that shit so i, I took a long break i learned about uh investing and in nfts and stuff like a dgen you know i uh, just got deep in that and um came back for leagues when runescape came out uh and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, we're doing leagues and wilderness content now. They just started dumping wildy updates in the middle of leagues. I just hopped right on over and I guess we back, you know. Glad to have Racy back so we can do the podcast again. Feels like everything's really coming together for 2022 other than the possible nuclear war. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> other than that, feels like things are coming Our together, Our pending man. doom. Yeah. So, Min, I got a question, man, because you were grinding – um new world and making videos for a while on that mm. um you probably know better than i do but like i've heard some awful things about that game like what happened do you, do you <laughs> know, know. Like, you, you don't know <laughs> i don't know dude it was on yeah. really drop the ball on that one i just gotta say the beginning of new world was so beautiful and vibrant you go and you loot something you'd figure it out it's new and it's flamey it's when you get an item and then the economy was so beautiful and robust and you you do merchant traveling trades and you'd flip and had a really deep economy and then they just couldn't figure out the bot problem right and then all of a sudden people started duping and then and gold came out of nowhere and then like <laughs> people were selling gold like every like the dollar per thousand or something yeah and, I just and then left. people are complaining that like you know we can't get this bot control uh, on runescape it's not that right? easy, you know it's, it's not that easy yeah but, uh, no for real yeah. they had the same exact problem but they fumbled so hard and i mean it got to the point where you'd go into like a game or like an area and there'd be like floating mushrooms and a fucking tree up there for some reason and you're like this is amazon <laughs> bro what the f uh, yeah i mean yeah, we're I've lucky seen, to have runescape in a way i've yeah. seen recently like some of the like numbers of players online for it and like i i think on a daily average like they're getting less than forty thousand concurrent players i think some days it's like down to like 20s or so like may even be low 20s which Bro, like it's all about lost arc now dude you know yeah but like you think about the amount of money amazon threw into it and like dude old school runescape probably has what like 80k players at all times kind of mm -hmm. crazy when you think of it like they should have just bought runescape i mean it would have mm -hmm. been cheaper and uh <laughs> shit i mean why not just buy they could still do it amazon they they're, they're still there i mean just don't fuck it buy up, our stocks <laughs> yeah, buy our dude stocks, if, dude. if if Amazon bought old school RuneScape, it would just be like a cash cow, man. They would flood it with like, surely they'd flood it with cosmetics or something, right? Hope not. I, I don't think Amazon are interested in like the slow and steady profits of like a consistent, like year after year steady income. I wouldn't. I would. I would assume not, just because they make so much as it is. So you don't want like a DH set with the little Amazon Prime logo on it, then? That's not where you're going. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Dark set parentheses P. You know. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. It. Let's. Let's. Yeah. Took me a while. All right, Rice. Okay, okay, right. What have you been up to, man? This man's been grinding while. Yeah, so I've been doing been the chilling. same shit that I've been doing the past few years, which is basically play on my main Iron Man, which is you know new new end game PVM comes out. I try you know do those and get those items right. And uh, I mean, I did leagues too. Uh, probably this, you know, this league was a bit lackluster in my opinion, but like it was fun, you know, I got some goals done. But yeah, I've just been playing the game. Nothing really special, nothing dramatic. You know, I didn't like climb Mount Everest and got re enlightened, you know, re enlightened or anything. You know, I, like I just been playing the game. That's it. So, so yeah, just been playing the game, making videos and streaming. So, very uh, standard day to day. It's, it's basically so. mine and Mint's. Uh... <laughs> fault that there's been no podcast yeah he's yeah. been here every saturday man just waiting for us to go online and i was uh, even I mean, in like hospital, honestly yeah you know? uh, honestly i was okay if there wasn't a podcast because like, i kind of realized it it's better when all three of us are in the mood you know so yeah, yeah. I, like yeah. i said at the start man we gotta take we gotta take christmas off because we're we don't have the time to do it and there's no point in stressing about it either yeah. but like the rest of the year perfect just december's crazy and then we will take like a couple weeks to get back into it. And also, uh, for anybody watching the podcast right now, who would you like us to have on? Is there anyone in particular that you'd love to see as a guest? Because 
at the moment, the only person I have lined up right now is potentially Mr. No Sleep. And that's somebody who we'd love to have on and have wanted on for a really long time. So hopefully we'll have him on at some point yeah, soon. Yeah, he, he, you know, he's like the legendary dogs, man. You know, fleas. Yeah. Before you catch him. <laughs> Mate, he's so, he's so hard to get hold of. Like, he, he popped into my, my Twitch chat a few <clears> days ago. And I was just like, oh my god, why have got you here, dude? Come on the podcast, please. I was like... <laughs> I was like, I had to join his Discord. He doesn't have Twitter. He doesn't have social media. You can't message on YouTube now, or if you can, I can't find it. So I had to go in his Discord and just put a message in his general chat, like, hey, can someone get me in contact with this man? And then he ends up messaging me, just being like, hey, man, I enjoy the podcast. I would love to come on. That'd be great. I'm just a bit busy right now. I'm like, sweet. And then I try to message back, and it's like, you can't message this person because you're not his friend. I'm just like, oh my god! Oh, man, like, how man. do how do I get contact with this guy? But yeah, I yeah. think I think he's down to come on. That would be that'd yeah. be great. Um, yeah, we are trying to fill the slots so we can get some podcasts out. And we do have a lot of people that would probably be down to come on. Just some OGs, maybe Mika or somebody. But if you are a content creator and you watch our podcast, or maybe you're you're a viewer and you want someone to be on the podcast, we have a Twitter. Go down below, tag mm -hmm. them in it. Tell them to DM us. We'll get back to them. And uh, honestly, it's it, big or small, as long as you are here to make RuneScape content and your content's not like fucking hypercam still and your mic doesn't sound like a Sahara desert, then you're probably going to be chill enough to come on and talk <laughs> some RuneScape, dude. Okay. There, is, I, there is a guest that I've seen people want to come on the podcast, and I think he would be a an amazing guest to have on. Uh, his name is Josh Strihaves. Either of you heard of him? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I, Josh, I, yeah. Huh? yeah. He's like, yep. well, he's not like necessarily like a strictly RuneScape guy, but like, yeah, he, he covers no. RuneScape, right? Sometimes. He he makes, yeah, he plays RuneScape. He likes it a lot, but he makes videos on like, I think I said that right. Josh Strife says, sorry, Josh Strife says, uh, he makes videos on like every video game and MMO that's yeah. out there. He's like a reviewer of sorts, yeah. which is fine because then we can be like, yo, what do you think uh, about RuneScape compared to like Lost Ark? You know, that'd be a good topic. But uh, yeah, seems, leave us some like suggestions. Nice yeah, leave us some suggestions. We'll hit them up. One of us will, you know. But um, and when you I, say I, one of us, you mean me because I'm the sweet talker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll know. get them on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're we're gonna yeah we're on our uh, kind of like our our future podcast goals kind of deal. So we're trying, we're, you know, like minus the seasonal excuses that we have to not do a podcast or like emergencies like hospitals, you know, stays or whatever. We are trying to get back to like that weekly schedule, but uh, yeah, it's a work in progress, you know. Like, like it's a work in progress. It's not easy, but you know, we can try to figure out something going forward. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, our, yeah. That's kind of what we like, came into agreement. Our goals mm -hmm. look like maybe uh, one podcast a week, just like old times. But uh, we're gonna try to get the next podcast set as soon as we end one. So anytime we end a podcast, we're gonna try to set the next one in advance. And then if we can get creators to DM us or start getting a, a list of people we can talk to. With your to, help, it'll be easier because then we can get some ideas. Perfect, yeah. dude. Well, what um, we could do is we could put like a poll up on YouTube with like the names of some YouTubers slash content creators and just do a vote and just see who Well, we, we, like we should on. get it from the from the chat. We should get it from the comments, you know, section, right? And then we can like pull that and like, yeah. you know, maybe, maybe. That would be an idea. But I think just having viewers suggest people is, is going to be a huge make well, that a thing make that a like well, a we could do the suggestions know, and then do like a poll yeah uh, if we have a really hard time picking we can do a poll i feel like yeah something like that i think we'll like, as like soon as they give us, yeah as soon as they give us people we're, it's not like we're gonna be like oh do we have oe jimmy or sick nerd or i'm a cutie pie on it's just like no we're gonna we're gonna message them all we're gonna message them all and be like please come on <laughs> Please, yeah. please. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna t we want to talk to everyone, like especially if JMods are out there. If you watch a podcast or you know one, and you want to talk about some future updates or something you're working on, or maybe you yeah, want to like, get like data kick, back, you know your 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 update pitch, man. What do you want in this yeah. game? You know, like yeah. we'll sell man, it. For, we'll sell it to you. We'll I had a request for Mod Ed to come on. I don't know if either of you the have storyteller. Mod yeah, the is storyteller. He or is he? No, is he's he, like, he he, he's from like Harry Potter, you know. Yeah, he's like he's from like Harry Potter, Captain. But like, that's yeah, a little yeah, racist, you know. Everyone's from Harry Potter from Britain, right? You know? <laughs> no, 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 not like not like that. Like... Well, I don't get, I don't get he the just first like one of the reference. He's he's the small ginger guy. If that helps, <laughs> I haven't watched a RuneScape stream in a while. Like, yeah. so... He pitched Translayer too and stuff. You know, like he's the story okay. guy for old school. 
Oh, cool. so the lore man. Okay, that'd be great. Yeah, Logan's yeah. Really He's like the lore. Dungeons and Dragons guy, you know? Oh. Imagine Anyways. if we could host a Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> with J Mods. Yeah. Dude, hey, come man, on yeah. the podcast, bro. Would people watch Honestly. a Dungeons and Dragons RuneScape podcast? <laughs> We'd need a dungeon master, man. Do you know yeah. anybody? I could make shit up on the fly. Oh, I guess, I'm pretty I guess. good at it. Uh, I'm pretty you know, good you at need it. To, you need to know the rules, because I don't. I, don't you yeah, make up rules? Thing. Isn't that the first rule? Everything's made up, or no? I mean... I, I've never I, played. I've, I've never so played, played, so... Have you, I, well, neither of you have played. No. I just heard. Well, I have friends guys, that have played, but I'm not gamers. in their group. Yeah, I, I've played once, and my friend did literally just make <laughs> up the rules, but it was, it was fun. Yeah. It was it was fun. It was. Oh, right, so okay. you dead? So. What? Because I'm a master of Dungeons and Dragons. I played once. So I'm yeah, basically. Yeah, basically yeah. that's that's our you know uh, goals going forward for the podcast. So help us out, contribute, and uh, I guess we're gonna quickly uh, just recap where we left off because like the last time we did a podcast, it was uh, it was right before Next came out, and and it's been you know a bit since then. So we have like uh, leaks shortly after that, you know, after Next release, and then. We also got some uh, wildy updates like Mint, Mint we'll talk about in a bit. And uh, also some Race 3 uh, proposals, you know, some updated uh, ideas of what the Race 3 stuff is going to be about, like rewards and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'll, I'll quickly just cover where we left off. So, like I said, we, we had we last talked about what the potential next item release you know, is going to do to like maybe Bandos and stuff. And we already know what happened because, you know, it's it's already past that point now and What's yeah happened? vandals is fill us, fill us in man I have yeah, no so, idea. you know like no with, idea. directly to answer that particular question about vandals vandals is definitely chilling the prices are fine because again it's it's have it's directly re, you know reliant on on torva like the, the the relationships there you need to break vandals down to make the torva to combine what, it what's so, the price so, looking like on the bandos chest plate versus the tacits well it's like normal price like then the 20 mils you know nothing but nothing too bad Doesn't has changed. I thought the chest plate was worth more repairing the plate ball. Uh, more. I thought. Uh, sorry. Well, I, I broke down the. More. I broke down a chest plate recently. It was three bars, and like I broke down Tassis was two. I, yeah. No, no, I didn't break down Tassis. I think Tassis might have been uh, two or three, but but like the price right. differences aren't too bad. Like no, no one really ever complains about Bandos prices, you know, to this day. So so like everything's fine. Like you know, Bandos is still chilling, and like you have Torva. Uh, obviously, uh, like the helmet was like two, two hundred to three hundred, and like the body's like double that, so five hundred, six hundred. So yeah, very, very uh, hefty prices on those. So good. Next items are still very, very much viable. Uh, but yeah, like I'm gonna talk a bit more about the next itself. Uh, out, you know, I've been grinding it now, uh, and for the most part, it's a very rewarding boss because the drops are all worth hundreds of mils. Literally, crossbows like five hundred mil too. Um, the 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 van brace is like two hundred mil, so yeah, it's and and the drop rate is one in fifty to see it. Now there's some downsides to this boss, like the mechanics are just a kind of a bit of a brute force mechanic. She she'll just hey, hit Ray, you really hard. Is that sorry? Is that one in fifty for masses as well? To see, is, to see, and then like to, for you okay. to get it, you just times it by the number of people, right? Oh, but, like you know, yeah. Talk about the mechanics though. Like the the boss is very much how it used to be. Except for us, it's different. We don't have overloads. So when we spam, when we spam our brews, it's much more annoying without overloads, right? And you do use brews like crazy. It's one of those bosses where you just take damage, and there's really not a whole lot you can do. And and it's come to a point where you kind of have to cheese the boss a bit by stalling it, using like certain methods that basically stop the boss from moving, so that so that it doesn't do as much damage. It's it's kind of uh, you know it's probably probably one of my main. There's a few gripes about it, like the casing's a bit annoying. You gotta do that every time you know you gotta enter. Can you and, freeze uh, the boss? Can you ZGS it or something? Or no, no, you, you can't. Just stand no, under? You, no, you can't do that. You you have to you have to kind of bug it a bit, you know, by following people. So not 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 the best mechanics, in my opinion, for 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 this day and age. You know, the old next mm -hmm. it's the same as this next. That's a bit you know it's a bit clunky because of of the fact that like let's say you pray melee, it doesn't matter. She'll still hit you like a truck. You know, you get the right pair off, she'll still hit you like a truck. The only way to, to mitigate is to kind of stall the boss, which is kind of lame. I would have preferred they ball? actually... Uh, yeah, yeah, you can, but like, it's just, you know, you're, you're not going to do damage because you're constantly brewing that, uh, otherwise. 
Like, I would have preferred if they kind of slightly changed the mechanic up so that you're rewarded for, like, actually executing some sort of mechanical dodge, like Nightmare or something, and not take some damage. Because right now, man, it, you just take so much damage, even if you have, even if you have the most optimal prayer on. So, without cheesing the boss. Yeah, so casing's annoying. Uh, uh, obviously, getting team is a bit difficult because, like, there's so many other factors, like, casing that makes people not really want to do it. So... So a bit of the price value comes from the fact that not many people are doing text just because of how annoying it is. is that but why? the price okay. but the prices are very healthy though, you know, for the most part. But but I you know I mean if if the price go down a little bit, if more people can do it, I think I think that's what a, a content developer will want, right? It's for people to actually, you know, more people to do it. Because I feel like it's it's a very exclusive group at the moment that does it, since there is a lot of logistical issues with this boss that I personally feel. And a lot of people do feel about it, like, like KCing and like, yeah, the stuff like that is just really. really I think uh, the full. I think personally, I I, I don't like the way that <clears throat> the armor itself looks. Mm -hmm. Like the, I, I think we spoke about this in the last podcast we did, but like, it just, I don't think it looks very nice, man. I watched somebody the other day doing a, a TOB, wearing the full set, and I was just like, just looks silly, just like this chunky, weird looking armor. It doesn't look very well fitted, but. So would you say that Nex is probably because obviously it's it's one of those updates which is more or less just a RuneScape Free has this thing we can easily put it into old school RuneScape with little to no work and just a couple tweaks. Do you think that maybe there should have been more extensive testing of the boss, like they should have tested it or maybe had players come in and try doing it in like smaller groups, masses, etc. Because it just sounds like it sounds like the overload is the thing that's missing from the equation here, and that would yeah, make the it's boss a big part completely of it. fine. Like yeah, well, like back in the day, you could just overload the while fighting, right? So that that way you can just brew up, and like you don't have to worry about restoring back up necessarily, because you know overloads will will uh, reset your stats like in chambers, right? But right now, obviously, you can't do that. You have to chug three brew doses and then drink a restore, and then you have to super combat up every single time, which is like really. It, it I mean, you just. The, the there's a few issues with that right it's just the the fight's uninspiring because you're just yeah. chugging food the whole time you're not really like necessarily expecting mechanics that you can dodge or anything like that you can't really dodge them you still are take the damage are they predictable mm -hmm. no like she will like her magic and melee for the most part is rng right even if you tr even if you minimize the the distance she can still mage you which is like, you know, and they'll hit like 30s and drain your prayer, et cetera. It's, it's very resource intensive. And if you don't stall, you basically get half the kills a trip. I was and, for, just and you use twice the amount of food for, for one kill. I was wondering kill. if you yeah. could take like purple sweets and tiki and just use a divine super uh, combat potion. But I'm guessing nah, that's not nah, the case, wouldn't. Right? You, 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 you would just, like you die, you have to re-KC up. It's not worth it. That'd be a, that'd be a Wook strat right there. <laughs> it's not It's not worth it. And then you're just, that. you're just, yeah, no, it's better to just stall it, you know? So it's come, it comes down to that now. But anyways, I've kind of said enough about next. For the most part, uh, I feel like the mechanics are definitely a, a bit not, not proper for today's standard. And uh, yeah, maybe they could slightly change it up. Maybe like make the access a little a little bit less annoying, you know? Because like yeah, I feel like there's not as many people that that should be doing this boss that that they want to be doing this boss. I feel like you know it's like a very small group of people. And when you say access, you mean getting KC outside, right? Yeah, yeah, things like that could be like just a lot more streamlined, man. Like nobody wants to die, like because you die a lot in that place. You know, you die, you have to re KC up, and then you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. You know? It's like yeah. It's not because like you have to you get you pay for your gear back and then you have to KC up every time. It's like, no thanks, you know. Anyways, yeah, just that's just something that a lot of people are, are saying, you know. And I I kind of I mean, agree with that to an extent. Yeah. yeah. So I like again, I've been completely out of the loop. But like, if a lot of people are complaining about this, which I assume they are, what have the J mod said in response? Is there any kind? Yeah. Of, uh. Well, they they it? they they said they wanted to kind of like make the drops more common, but I don't think the issue is really the drops being common. I think the issue is more about how you start the fight, how you get into, like, the grouping of it, and then getting ready to fight the boss and fighting the boss. I feel like, I feel like it's just not, like, not, not that fun, because you are basically brew stimulating it, and you are KCing every time you have to go in. It's just, like, the way you go about the boss is, is, is pretty bad. Not, not that the drop rates are bad, really. 
So they so. drop it drops the ecumenical key shards. What if they gave that a major buff? And it was like every time you got that, it was basically free entry. Yeah, it's just something. I mean, right? Like you know, either either make the mechanics a bit more like mechanical base, more skill base, so that you can like be rewarded, right, and take a lot less damage, or you maybe help, you know, maybe streamline the like the whole entry part, right? Just just changing some of these things would would have a massive impact on how people perceive the boss, you know, the experience yeah. of it, you know, of like doing it, right? Bro, do you know but, what they yeah. should do? Do you know what they should do for real? They should bring yeah. back those insta kill darts so the noobs can have a chance at killing it. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember those things? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's how I kill my first next back in I, the day. <laughs> I was kind of jealous of people because I didn't play back then, but I always wanted to use one of those darts because you it looks sick. You just don't gone. Yeah, oh, you just I basically get okay. Finally, you basically electrocute the boss and it dies. Yeah, but yeah. those should not come yeah. in the game, bro. Oh my yeah. god, Reddit would destroy itself if those ever mm -hmm. even were thought about you know yeah Man, I, I feel like what we're talking about could be like a whole topic in itself of like i mean they could do that for leagues if they want you know like <laughs> Copy but, and i mean i want content. them to whatever they want when, when you're talking about like content which is clearly came over from runescape 3 like the last i think the last two if i'm up to date the last two updates that came which were a copy and paste from the runescape 3 game was soul wars and next right um I'd say, like, by the sounds of it, Nex hasn't done so great. Needs some tweaking done to it. And similar for Soul Wars, it kind of just turned into people were just boosting it to get themselves... Yeah, back yeah. Back I, think, I think many games are, are more so the issue of us being too old, and we just don't give a shit about many games the way we, we enjoyed it as a kid. Our brains yeah. were so yeah. dumb as a kid, you know, <clears throat> that just yeah. being in Soul Wars and being around action, you just got that little bit of dopamine. Now we yeah. just see it as, like... <laughs> I, I need to get the pet. Let's boost. You know, that's yeah. I, that's literally it right now. So. I mean, they are yeah, literally just game. dragging this content from RuneScape 3 to plug it in, right? If they did make a completely new mini game that kind of broke some barriers, maybe like LMS, people probably would get involved, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, you yeah. know, the perfect way to segue into um, what we were talking about before, which is the PvP arena that they announced. So... We have discussed this like so many times, right? We've spoken so much about doing a PvP ranked arena, which is more or less what they've suggested for where Duel Arena was. So they're bringing back, I can't remember what the name of it was, but like years and years ago, they took away the Duel Arena and they replaced it with like Duel Arena tournaments or something along that. those lines. Yeah. yeah. And so they're bringing like a PvP, by the sounds of it, ranked arena. I, I, I need to like go over it again because I read it when I was in hospital, but it, it sounded like you get to choose like your stat loadout before you go in. So it's like you can opt for really high mage, but you have to then sacrifice your melee and range stats. And then, or you can have like a middle range where you're like kind of middle on your strength range and mage. I don't know what they're saying with that. Um, it sounds weird. I have, <laughs> it, I, maybe, maybe I've misread it. I need to read it Oh, again. I don't know either. I didn't even glance at it but just hearing that sounds so yeah. i mean it sounds kind of nice though because i would hate to have to have a full set of ancestral anytime i wanted to do a tournament you know, oh no just God. to compete dude it sounded really good I, I i'm not gonna lie i read it when i was in hospital and i was like i was like damn i was like this is getting me hyped to go home i was like i'm looking forward to playing runescape and then it was like we're looking to release this in several months and i was just like oh that sucks because yeah. it has an in built system uh, this is good bro we've spoken about this i can't remember who said it there's a system with it where you queue up for your match thank god and you, you, can be, you can be you can be killing necks you can be doing god war you can be doing anything in game and then it'd be like it's ready for your fight and then you log out log into the world where the tournaments happen and then you're just there you're in the arena so it's like a separate world and you won't log in where you logged out. You're logging at the arena, and I'm assuming that's the only place that you can be at. And then you'll fight your opponent, right? Yeah, that's that's good. That's that's a good that's, start. That's yeah. a very cool mechanic. Now I will say this: so a genuine concern. If there are any J mods listening, please, right? If this update stands like any chance in hell of being popular and people are going to play it, you need to get AH cares and people mm -hmm. using cheap clients mm -hmm. under control. Okay, if they're not under control, you're setting this this update that you're making and you're working towards. It's probably gonna flop, because 
here's the reality of it. People would like to get into hybriding and learning how to PK, but if they're going to be put against fucking Megatron and they're going to get <laughs> smashed, you know, nine out of 10 rounds, it's not fun. It'd be okay for people that are experienced to know how to kill those bots because it's possible, but you have to be skillful. It's like, it's fine for those people, but that's not what we want. Like we've said this for such a long time. We don't just want end game content for the highest tier skilled players. And although, yeah, that would be nice as well. Like, let's try and get people who are new, more involved in this kind of stuff. If they don't get the basics sorted, it's kind of similar with, like, the botting problem. AH cares, uh, scripters, people using cheat clients, they need to get that under control. And the reason I say that is because I see it on Twitter all the time where JMods are single-handedly manually banning accounts that there's videos posted of like AH cares and stuff and they're PKing in the wildy and then like mod easier or someone like that will like go and manually ban that account which is great and fine it's a good thing but the fact that they're having to manually do it indicates that they're not being picked up by their system mm -hmm. whatever that system is clearly isn't doing its job properly right? yeah so I, yeah i think that's the flaw with the way that we we we, we rely on rune light and like all those you know all those hack clients use rune light as their source so so yeah it's it's one of those things where maybe that's why they're pushing the you know we've talked about this before maybe that's why they're working on their steam client quite a lot right now you know maybe that's kind of like <laughs> their so, hidden sorry. solution but i mean yeah, yeah. i only, Anyways, I only I say it by the way that, because yeah. this is something that i would love to have in the game and i'd love for it to be popular because i'd enjoy doing it and I don't want to see something fail before it even begins, not because of the content and the idea of it itself, but like the player base and like what they have access to in the third party stuff. Like it would just yeah. be a shame. It'd be a real shame. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Well, we got to, mm -hmm. yeah, we, we still have to do the recaps for a few other things like leagues, you know, me and mid played it. So, um, I mean, yeah, this, this league's, uh, another new type of league for the most part. Right. Uh, every, every area is technically accessible. Uh, but quests and skills and bosses are are locked behind renown points, which you get from doing tasks like the general task stuff from all the other leagues. Except they decided, you know, they they decided to nerf the costs, which effectively made it so that everything is accessible fairly easily. You know, so so it was more like an open open uh, league. Everything was open, and then the only difference was uh, the XP raise and the relics, pretty much. Which honestly, I was a little disappointed because. Because like you know, the magic of the first two leagues was like how if you you know chose a relic, or or anything like that, or chose an area, you were locked to it, right? And then you had to play by those new by those restrictions. But like this league, there was like no restrictions, so everybody yeah. kind of just did the same exact thing. So yeah, it lost a bit of the magic because then you just watch a content creator or a streamer, and they literally all do the same exact strat for the most part. So it's like you know, yeah. it lost some of that magic. So I'd say I give this 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 league a seven out of ten because it, it missed the restriction magic that the other two had. Yeah, what's what's your take on it, Mint? On Man, on the league? I got a lot to say on a lot of things. But if we're gonna talk about leagues. Yeah. You know, and coming from a guy who has back to back dragon trophies, you know, just kinda make that known. Yeah, yeah I gave was, up uh, on this one. <laughs> yeah, it was it was Thing is, I'll say some positive stuff, and then I'm gonna get progressively meaner. Okay? Yeah. The relics were well thought. There was a lot of fun strategies. The DH strats, the double hits, all super fun. Um, but it was advertised as a game mode that would be very exclusive into where if you pick something, you're gonna get punished if it's not the right thing. You're gonna pick range. Right. Maybe you can't go. Maybe they they literally be like, okay, you can pick your route. You know. In in reality, it should have been like. You can do anything with no repercussions, and if you have yep, a lot of time right. and an Adderall script, mm -hmm. you'll probably end up getting a dragon trophy. Your family and friends won't know you for the last two months, but <laughs> all you need is time and an Adderall script, right? You Like, literally everything. And sure, you could unlock quests with points. Cool. But, I mean, if you don't, like, there's certain quests that give you a boost, but you don't want to unlock all of them. You want to... I don't know. There wasn't really... A strategy you know you had to do every diary you had to go and do everything you had to do everything it literally was you do everything in runescape you yeah, pretty much i don't want to yeah. do everything in runescape i don't want to do uh random quests i don't do diaries i want to do there, there's no restrictions at all after like four days of playing that league 
And, and oh my god and you know the worst part is seeing these people on the high scores jump five to ten k points a day because they like eat runescape or something i don't even know it's how do you compete with these people i mean they play like this on normal it i don't know man i'm out i got like i think i got like an adamant trophy now i'll take it right. it's, it, i just dude and then you know yeah, what? so yeah well, for those of you that didn't I'll understand say, yeah last thing i'll say okay oh. A week and a half in the leagues, they add the first wilderness update in like a year. Okay, they gave me no choice. Literally no choice, man. I'm thinking, do I want to go and do some diaries? Or do I want to go try the rev boss that they've been teasing about for half a year? Honestly, yeah. it was kind of a mm-hmm. shit show in my opinion, but... I mean, yeah. I heard they only gave like a day notice for that update or something. Something along those <laughs> yeah. lines. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the good old. Uh, they even player. forgot. They were like, "Fuck! Oh yeah, that's tomorrow." <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So, so with that, right? Like, because everyone's in Iron Man leagues. Like, if you if each person touched it, like a different person touched that boss, nobody gets to drop. It's, um, I heard I heard <laughs> some funny. I heard some drama about that. Yeah, like on Reddit, some guy like accidentally touched the this other dude's rev boss, and he got so mad he hired people to PK the other dude for like an hour straight. <laughs> <laughs> Even though the dude was already fifty five k points, and he was like way comfy for dry ranked. Oh uh, well, but I want to. I do want to praise the relics, though. You know, I don't want to talk all negative. You know, but like you know, the the relics this time around was really nice. There's a lot of combinations and stuff. Uh, uh just the formatting of how you use the relics kind of sucked, though. You know, like th- there was no presets going. Rune Light had to make oh, their own. That was stuff awful, like that. Dude. But like the relics were really fun. Like the the god relics were really cool. I just hope next time if they do more. Fun relics. They should do like freaking, uh, like chat. You know, like chat set effect. Like if you have full granite or something, you do like two hundred percent more damage. I, I would love that. You know, or like full dragon warrior or something. You know, like because bandos is bandos. <laughs> yeah, I mean bandos is bandos, man. We, we always use bandos, even in the main game. What, what about dragon? What about like, you know, like granite armor, right? Like make make some cool. There's so much more room for fun relics that you couldn't, you know, you couldn't actually do in the main game, but you can have fun with it. In leagues yeah and also another thing to know is that like if any any time like i don't know like uh players on, on reddit like create create this insane like pitch like with like 50 pages of like really organized graphs to to like pitch a new idea like you know, they could try some of those on on leagues right no repercussions on the main game but you can ha- mess with that and have have fun and put that in, in in leagues right and then you can see what it's like too that that's a win-win for everybody except maybe for some dev yeah. time but you I know think- that'd be cool too I didn't yeah, but, even yeah. play this league, but I, it's, yeah. listen, it's just, I'm not just they need restrictions this. next time, you know, because like, you can only have this league happen one time because next league, if it's the same exact open everything, you can unlock everything like in a few days, it'd be so boring because everyone's just going to do all the diaries, all the quests, kill all the bosses, kill Giant Mo a hundred thousand times again. You know, it's like, no, let's have those bring back that restriction because that's really a, a big part of what makes leagues leagues, right? It's like when you go to a different stream or watch a different video, you're like, "Whoa, what's what build this guy got?" You know, which areas, what skills, right? Because like this league's just like, "Oh, well, you know, he I already know he's gonna do this method, or I know he's gonna train, uh, you know, agility this way, or go to this spot to, you know, kill this thing." Like it's the same thing every time, very boring, you know. So, damn, yeah, I'm glad I, feel I like- would. I'm kind of glad I was in hospital for that, man. Sounds yeah, yeah. What what this <laughs> rate? What I mean, what this leak should have been about is like, uh, you could only maybe unlock like I don't know six bosses or like, you know, maybe like half the skills, you know, a third of the skills, something like that, right? So that way, we have these crazy combinations, so many different possibilities, even more than the last leak. You know, that'd be that would have been. Do you really think it's fair to say? And bear in mind, I didn't play, so I don't know. But yeah. like, is it fair to say that Jagex probably spent more time? It sounds like they did a great job of the runes. So probably more time thinking about the runes than they did like the actual like locked aspects of it. Yeah. So so like they, I think they were probably just too scared, you know, because like leagues is obviously a uh, a casual oriented game mode, which you know nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, it's like you already get like the thirty x XP rates, you know, right? Everything you already get like the three x drop rates, right? So like there's there's nothing wrong with restricting certain things because because like you, people can choose how they want to restrict themselves right and then once they're locked into it they can play the game in 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 many different ways right so I, that's kind of like the appeal of that you know like it's okay to have an open you know world open 
open just complete open league one time but like you can't do that again because then it's like there's nothing special about this league you know the next league right like restrictions makes Bro, leagues whole conversation, different man. every time so jagex love relics <laughs> Like love, no. and I'm getting like PTSD for the last dead man mode. I don't even know if Mint played it, but yeah, like I'm just, I just right. Well, I don't know if this rings any bells, man. <laughs> like just being VLS, the casual 99. That's like every like... leagues. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's like yeah. every league, oh, bro. It, it, like this whole conversation has just like <clears throat> took me back to the last dead man mode. I got, I got spec, I got VLS to 90, just out of nowhere, just like one shot. <laughs> oh great! There and, and oh, it makes me so angry because they also added the like free life system. So when you lost your free lives, you lost everything. It was like Dude. either keep your items and start as level three again, or like lose everything and then just have your stats. But God, I listen. Some of the runes were good. Re some of the relics were great. Okay, and it was nice getting them as drops. But I know this is tan tangent, but like, please, Jagex, if you are listening, just though any of the like damage combat. Relics that you added into demo mode, just completely remove them. They're unnecessary. The other ones were great, but yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it was awful, yeah. man. I'm getting flashbacks to that. It was I'm starting to remember that now. I did get a couple kills, but I stayed in those lower bracket worlds because seeing somebody get VLS for an 80 plus made my butt shiver, dude. I didn't, yeah. I didn't want a part of that, man. Not at all. Yeah. I got I got DH bombed by solo mission while I was doing like some goblin quest. You know, <laughs> you know the cave the cave dude, outside the fishing guilds. <laughs> I went oh, in I there and he it. just, yeah, he just like, I love that clip, bro. Me, bro. I completely, <laughs> and I right clicked his name, and of all people, I was like, oh my fucking god. As soon as I saw guy. that solo mission clip, I sent him $5 PayPal, dude. I absolutely <laughs> loved it, bro. It was amazing. I was like, he must, Rakes, he must be so mad. I mean, I would have been, during that quest, Ooh. I would have shit a break, bro. Oh, man. I was, was very sad. upset, man. Do you know, funnily <laughs> enough, solo mission is the, um, he was the only RuneScape YouTuber that I watched when I was in hospital. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. guys. He, you know, I clicked on every one of his videos, disliked and left instantly. <laughs> every single one. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, we need to have him back on, bro. We need old Nexter over here. Yeah. Um, I mean, he was the good? king of leagues, bro. You know, he can he can tell you all about the positives, you know. For uh, real. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, for leagues, it felt like after they made everything a little more easier to get and points to get, and it almost felt like the XP right off the bat was kind of ridiculous too. Yeah. Um, it, they were pretty much catering to everybody, right? Just and that's that's it's like if they need more people to play their game mode, I, I guess. But it's post. I don't know, man. I was just so disappointed. But they did so many good things as well. So it feels like they're <laughs> constantly getting closer to the ideal non-permanent game mode. But anytime they get to the point where they find something perfect, they make it a little easier for everybody so more people play, which ends up making less... I actually don't know if less people played overall. Well, that's I, it, that's, the, that's the thing. Popular. <laughs> Honest, do, you, do you think they're yeah. trying to get the perfect game mode? Or nah, do you think really. they're gonna? Or do you think they're just gonna change it every single time? Because yeah, no, they should had, change just, it every single time. One hundred percent. I just had a look, and there are so many worlds for leagues, and there's hundreds of players on each of them. Still, like, yeah, it, it seems to be doing pretty well to me by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. It's been out now for like over a month, right? Maybe like yeah. two months or something. It's honestly nah, holding nah, up pretty strong, months. and like months. the YouTube content's going well. I I think people are still streaming it. The content creators are fighting for the top. So overall, it is a pretty successful leaks. It just for me, and I feel like maybe I'm the minority here. I don't feel like doing everything that I could have done in RuneScape to progress my main account in <clears> leaks. <throat> I only want to do maybe a third of those things, and those things I want to be really <clears throat> fun and enjoyable. And maybe there's even a strategy that's involved to make each, you know, just to give me a little bit of an edge. And that didn't exist in this leaks. It just everything was doable. You know, and, and maybe the reason why people ate that up is because they didn't want to play the other leagues where they're trapped on Zaya and they didn't want to wait all this time. So they're just here. They're like, oh, look at how fast my experience is. Oh, little they know they're in fucking like Mithril tier or something, put in like 50 hours a week because they don't know what the fuck they're doing, but they're having a great time. They don't <laughs> see it as a competitive game mode. Um, mm -hmm. So to anyone who actually wanted to compete, you know, maybe we have this kind of negative bias, but it looks like it was... Uh, it, 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 pretty popular though so i mean i gave it a 7 out of 10 you know which means yeah. that i still enjoyed it for the most part but it, it missed a lot of the core magic of what made leaks leaks though you know 
with the mm-hmm. restrictions. So, I so think like, only there's true, yeah. only <clears throat> true people who really enjoy game love when they're restricted versus people who just want to get really fast experience and just you know and well like you know they're like we, you can talk about it from the casual crowd they might want to you know experience all the content yeah. really fast which is understandable but like you can only again you can only really have this one time because if you imagine they release the same exact like league where you have restrictions but then you can easily get rid of it in like in a week and then it's all the same shit again right like th- th- nobody wants to redo that again right i'm just pointing out that I'm just pointing out that not having restrictions means that it's gonna get repetitive going forward, and you don't want that because like it it's just you could say it's successful now, but you surely don't want to copy and paste this shit next year because because the same people that had fun this time around they're not gonna enjoy it the same anymore because they'll be like I literally just did this last year, you know right? You get what I'm saying? It's like yeah, they just did. They already did all the bosses super fast. So what what makes you want to do that again? <laughs> the same, you know what I mean? For the most part, the same way, right? No restrictions, pretty much. You just do it again. It's like no, dude. Like you can only have this one time, right? Like that's it. You know? Yeah, I wouldn't worry that's, about that's that. That's why restrictions I, I, are important. Because I every mean, year you can do different restrictions, and therefore you're 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 you're, you're you know you have to play a different way. So that way you can't be like oh, I did this already. No, no, you didn't. You 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 didn't have this restriction to stop you from you know strategizing. In, in that way you get what i'm saying so I, th- I think it's really important that every league going forward has different unique restrictions otherwise you're just going to be playing the same shit every year and i don't think that's going to be interesting you know for Dude, is every, there a for re- is there is there like a reason why you think that they won't change it or you just like no what do you mean what do you mean they won't change it what do you mean like I, well because you're you're like drilling home the fact that they need to change it right so i'm saying is there like some kind of implication that they won't and just leave it as it is. Oh no, I'm no, I'm saying every year they should have restrictions because they already did one without any restrictions for the most part. And they can't do that again because like I said, it's repetitive. It'll be repetitive. I think so. where Rice is coming from more is and, and kind of where I'm actually getting Long at term. as well yeah. is um yeah. it wasn't portrayed the way it is, you know? Especially with that update to make renown way easier to get. It was portrayed as a limited game mode with restrictions for this league where every choice you make is gonna either harshly affect you or or, or benefit you. It'll set you in and, stone, you know what you can. And do. it wasn't anywhere close to that. And now we're kind of yeah. scared that they're just gonna keep coming out with leagues that have these restrictions, and maybe a week in, it's like, oh, okay, it's just regular game mode. Go to your diaries again. Go to the quest you've done forty yeah, times. Yeah, exactly. Go to the yeah. same grind. It won't, and, bro. I'll tell you what. It won't. Yeah. It won't happen. It better not. Because it be but, boring but, as hell. But, 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 <laughs> if, if it does, it's gonna be like skillers getting a taste of the medicine. <laughs> That like every fucking PKer who loves Deadman mode has had every Deadman mode. Yeah, the same. It's the benefit. same thing every fucking time because yeah. it's no fucking work to just press copy paste. And you know yeah. what? People still like it, but now nah, it won't happen because there's genuinely people that care about skilling PVM and like the whole that side of the game. Like there's there's no way like they'll they'll get bored themselves playing it because I'm sure as hell exactly. the actually playing it. <laughs> yeah, Whereas they yeah. don't play Deadman mode, so you know. Yeah, I gotta say though, man, and I don't want any hate from skillers here. I've never voted no on a woodcutting update or whatever you guys live for, but um, I feel like even if they didn't change, you guys would have a blast. You just seeing that little 400 XP drop from one log, I think you just get the biggest direction of like 2022, right? And I think it's all you need. So I'd love them to go deeper in the skilling, but honestly, they've kind of mastered it because there's like loads of people out there loving fast woodcutting and fast mining. I mean, they sold you that drug. Uh, they, they call it a video game where you pay monthly, but you're just clicking on a tree fast. I'm, no hate. Yeah, well, you know, I, I don't feel like they've already it. bought the drug. You know, I feel yeah, like yeah, you're gonna just keep going back. There's to nothing, that. nothing wrong with higher XP rates and better drop rates in leagues. You know, that's a staple. You know, but like yeah. another staple is diversity, right? Is is the is the is the ability to go into a league every year knowing that you're you're gonna have to play quite differently, right? And that and that's I've... what sparks the interest. Is that like what are these new styles and strategies I'll be using this time around, right? Like, you're still going to get things super fast. Either way, I have right? a philosophical yeah. question for yeah. any of you guys slash any skillers watching this. So think about this for a second. If you're a mad skiller and, like, you just live for XP drops, the dopamine and everything like that, like, it's just, that's part of your life. Like, it just brings you comfort and joy in some way, which is beautiful. You're doing your favorite skill, let's say, for the sake of the story, it's woodcutting. 
How does it feel when you hit 200 mil and you no longer get XP drops? I I genuinely would love to experience, like, that must be gut-wrenching. That's like the top 0.01% of players, 001% of players probably. Uh, Reed, do you have a 200 mil? No. Damn, bro. <laughs> you're, 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 right? like, you're like the biggest I can't even I answer know. that, bro. I can't even answer that shit. Combines max like 50, yeah. But like, yeah, like the closest you, thing you is max dude. You know, I get, you I got burnt when I be like, Yeah. I can't, I, I want to experience that of just like, I don't, I don't think there's a skill that I like enough to get it to 200 mil, but still like, if it was your favorite skill and you just sat there all day watching XP for like years on end, and then all of a sudden it's just, it's finished. That must be, you must get, there must be something, there must be some kind of feeling that comes from that. And yeah, it has you get the feeling really, of, uh, like when I max, it's kind of sad and you're kind of like not as motivated. <laughs> I think you get the feeling of morality, right? Everything's got to end at one one time there. You yeah, mortality. I don't know if I call it a fun run if you're going for 200 mil woodcutting, but, you know, the adventure was there. You lived it. Uh, maybe stop fucking woodcutting now. You know, at 200 yeah, mil. yeah, do something else with your life. Right? <laughs> what I mean, did, do something did, else, anything else. Did, did, you, did, you ever see, did you ever see Suomi when he would get a 200 mil? Oh, my God, this shit cracked me up. He, he would get a 200 mil skill. He'd have, like, his friends would just show up They'd be all around him. They he would just get it, wouldn't say nothing, and just teleport straight away to go on and work on his second, like his next two hundred mil. Yeah, he's so like, used to it. Yeah, gone, bro. Like literally, just glory tallied to the bank, thieving now. You know, <laughs> fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, some, some people can do very repetitive it's, tasks it's for long periods of time, um, and they excel at it. And mm. uh, yeah, that's. It's not me, okay. but then again, yeah. all I do is PK people for the same loot. So maybe I'm just doing a skill in a different way, really. I'm just mm -hmm. cutting down people like woodcut and just, I'm, I'm part of the same problem, man. You know, no updates, yep. nothing's been changed. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so we, we, we can um, still, yeah, we still have some uh, upcoming updates we got to talk about. Like, uh, you know, there's Wildy stuff. There's like the new Runecrafting minigame. Um, this raised three proposal changes, so... Um, they're they're scrapping the whole low life armor range armor. They're just gonna make a straight up better range armor like Torva, you know Torva from Bandos. Now now the new range armor is gonna be basically a roided armadillo. You need armadillo armor to make it, and it's gonna give like strength bonus, like actual rage strength on the armor too. So you know just hit higher. Yeah, I was hearing. And that's about really that. about the main changes. Uh, they Bandos. also like did some tweaks on like the dagger that that does guarantee minimum damage. They did some tweaks on on uh i don't know if they did some tweaks to the mage weapon the mage weapon's actually kind of a little underwhelming it's supposed to be like the t-bow of magic but it's still really far behind on the on on the damage though so i i think they're still gonna need to retweak that a few more a bit more probably and yeah. that new shield for uh arcane upgrade pretty much same idea just a stronger arcane i don't even know about half these items but i heard about the range set and mm -hmm. Them going into the whole Armadale, just like the... I don't know. I guess people really are excited for a range armor. Maybe that's mm -hmm. that's not me, but I was actually excited for the HP range armor. I, I wanted something that was refreshing, but also still old school. And uh, Yeah, I think they're know, they're still going to apply it somewhere else in the future. But I hope so. I was hoping yeah. maybe we'd get like a cheaper armor piece, you know? Maybe it only costs you like 5 or 10 mil a set, so it's actually usable. Because having such a cool bonus on a very expensive item set is kind of like having a really expensive car you can't afford insurance on. It's it's like, what's yeah. the point? You can't even drive it, you know? It's just there. That's that's you only if you plan on crashing it and vice versa, losing it in the wilderness, mint. Like, they're not putting items into the game considering the wilderness. And I know that's yeah. where your brain is, and I love it, because that used to be me. I totally understand yeah. where you're coming from. <laughs> but like, they're not brain. thinking like that. I just don't see the point of adding items in the game that aren't somewhat based for wilderness activity. Are you literally just getting items to kill robots faster for the same items? It just it's weird. Some people love that shit, but Min, you know, Min, yeah, it just I, Min, can I can I tell you yeah. something real quick that mm -hmm. I know that you'll love because it's just it's it literally just struck my brain as somebody like yourself who I know for a fact is only interested in one thing, but you can. <laughs> but some of the updates that they've proposed for the PvP arena is effectively borrow gloves and void sets for all tiers of combat from one defense, 40 defense, and 70 defense, which will match voids, elite void, etc., and like I said, um, 
I think fight, fighter torso as well, barrel gloves. And uh, instead of having to do any quests, exactly the same stats and effects, no questing. You just buy it with reward points. So if you're somebody, and I know there's a lot of PKers that hate doing the quests every time, you can just go and do PvP Arena now. That's a proposed quest reward for it. How fucking good does that sound, dude? I only have one concern, which was your original concern, is that if they don't fix AHK and anybody can just go in these tournaments, it's going to be a absolute butt brawl, bro. Yeah, uh, but, that does yeah. sound amazing, but... Yeah, I'm basically it's Pandora's box, so hopefully they open yeah. that shit at a good time. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But I, I, think that's, I think that's great. I thought you'd like that, man. Not gonna lie. I do like it, man. I'm just scared because age cares are going to ruin it, you know? I, I got to be pessimistic when I hear good shit now, you know? It's always going to be <laughs> rude somehow. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yo, you want to cover some wildy stuff? Right, you said? Well, yeah. so the the arena is going to be added, like Rakesy was talking about. Um, and to replace the dual arena, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I would like to have a podcast on all yeah. non- dangerous pvp modes and possibly the benefits or negative impacts they actually have on the wilderness it won't mm -hmm. be for this podcast but I've, <laughs> I've actually had a lot of thoughts like lms you know why go deep wild when the best money maker is safe you know it's, it doesn't it's, it, it, it would make me not want to pk honestly um so i don't know maybe we could talk about that in the near future but yeah. new wilderness yeah. um updates it's been Jeez. great it has been Luke great man Rev boss, loot keys a week apart, and then today they were just talking about how um, the I think the PJ timer is going to be everywhere in the wild now, or at least broader, right? Single plus is going to be added. I don't know if that's going to be good. I don't know if that's going to be bad, but it's an update and it's week. constant. It's yeah. constant, man. Um, okay. But yeah, for some of the newest updates, Rev boss, uh, Rev cave still not incredibly active, still not great money, but I gotta say the mechanics. For the rev boss some of the best mechanics i've seen in the wild there's dodgeables there's aoe damage it's an absolute brawl battlefield i mean i've pk'd people in in mills pk gear and i'm in black di just because the, the, things are going on they can't keep up all of a sudden ags their head they're gone you know it's it's quick fast pace um i do wish there was more money in rev caves though right because there, you know, sometimes I'll find a rev boss and I'll have to wait. <laughs> no one wants to fight it. It's not enough money. It takes like 10 minutes to kill solo. All your food's gone and you die, right? You don't <laughs> want to go farm these things. So they need to boost a rate because I'll literally just be waiting there, waiting for someone to attack it, like two other PKers. We're just like, no one wants to attack this thing. It's, I don't know, man. So I'm already seeing this update die. So obviously we need more money. But when you pair the rev boss with loot keys and you're gonna get instant kills and teleport within the same tick and have all the loot i mean i could see a future for the wild right now we just need more money we just mm. really we need people to come in the wild and farm so i can kill them that's the honestly we need multi revs we need rev uh, we need the you know, bounty hunter um all of this shit but uh it's been great it's been a great couple weeks you know i'm feeling i'm feeling good man Dude, what if we were to take the idea that you just said of getting people to come into the wildy and farm and literally, literal, the meaning of literal, just whack like a farming patch in the wildy, where if you're not wearing like a certain mage defense and melee defense, you just get smashed by ghouls or something. So you have to risk and it has to be big. Imagine. Bro. <laughs> I, we and it gives, it gives you three times the yield of ore herbs. Imagine the risk reward, dude. <laughs> It'll just randomly put money in your inventory every like and four they're days. Instantly noted. Instantly noted. Like don't even have to note them, bro. No leprechaun. No damn. God. Yeah, now all the scares by anotic this again. <laughs> oh no, I gotta go wild and risk thing. What happened to people wanting to do dangerous stuff in video games? You download Halo and you're not like, oh, I hope that they don't shoot at me. No, what the fuck, man? Why is it only RuneScape where people are pussies? And why, the, why yes, are the pussies the, the dude, ones dude, typing the bro, fucking paragraphs on Reddit, bro? bro? You're telling me you can't click, but you can RuneScape, type that right? fast? <laughs> oh. It's because RuneScape's no longer a PvP game, simply put. Like, that's what yeah, it is. Yeah, all the PvPers went to Fortnite, dude. You know? And all the I other mean, they, games. The real PvPers it's came to Tarkov with me. That's yeah, I, probably. Okay. That's, that's, that's the that's community, the man. It feels like they look at PvPers like just dirty pigs that shouldn't be in the game. How dare you attack me in this all-out war zone, bro? Yeah. Like, would you grow up playing Tamagotchis? That's it. Like, nothing at all has has interrupted your gameplay. I, 
Yeah, we we already know we're, yeah, we already know what 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 we need really fundamentally to get those people back or to the kids, you know, yeah. into the fray. Yeah. We know what we need. Trust but me, but like hopefully this that. PvP arena is kind of like a spark on that, you know, or whatever. I hope so. Dude, yeah. I I will say I think one thing the the wilderness could definitely do with is a multi uh hotspot. I think that would be and I didn't really appreciate this until they took away the multi from Revenants just how good that really was for a lot of PKers because yeah, I've they never should been have much some... of a multi PKer, but like I've always done yeah. single PK but there were a lot of people that really enjoyed that, including yeah, you, Mint, you know what they I should do times as well. You know what they should do? They should probably have some areas where it's multi and like you just get a bit more extra revs. So people want to take that risk, like they can go there, you know? Kind of thing. Dude, I'll yeah. give you I'll give you an idea. I'll pull an idea out my ass right now. Dude, imagine if they brought back the old bounty hunter crater and it was like it's like a relic. The like the remains of the bounty hunter crater next to the Ferox Enclave, right? So it's easy access. And make it so instead of the typical multi where it's just like a fucking dog pile and everyone can attack you, make it so the closer you get to the center, the more resources you find, and the closer you are to the center, the more people can attack you. E.g. on the outskirts, it's one person, and maybe as you get into the center, you can have a, a total of like uh, okay, three or four people all on you. Boom. And then you're going to have teams fighting teams because it's going to be like four on four and so forth. Like, there's so much they could do, you know? Mm -hmm. And I don't know what the resource would be in there, but it could just be, I don't know, fucking dragon ore. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> pulling shit out of my ass now. Like, just yeah. put something in there. Dragon <laughs> ore. Mm -hmm. some yeah. dragon ore in there. I would farm some dragon ore. Honestly, that <laughs> sounds badass, man. And I will literally people like, dude, what do you think the wilderness needs? They'll come into my stream. It's like, uh, because sometimes I'll rant, you know, like, what do you think it needs? What do you think? Only thing it's we updates. need, honestly, <laughs> is a multi area that's active. That is it. It could be revs. Yeah. It's not the wilderness slayer caves. Okay, it's definitely. I don't know why the hell. I think they thought it would replace it. Not even fucking close. Not even close to that. We need a multi area. And then everything else, you can do small little updates on the side, but that is it. Because if we, even if we implement Bounty Hunter, so, I mean, cool. So that's not going to really bring anything back. Maybe that world's a little more active for a couple weeks till people get burnt out, depending on the emblem system. But, I mean, Revs was just a place you can go on a Friday night with a couple bros, and, uh, you know, you could be like, hey, you see that guy in the corner? Let's all dump our spec on that man and have him just have the worst Friday of all time. And you could, and it was fun, and it was the best time. And you can't do that anywhere else. You really, I've tried, you know, Callisto. They're going to be like, why the hell is there someone else at Callisto? They just start running. At Revs, it was normal to be packed. You know, the wilderness yeah. is, is not normal to see people. You see someone at Lava Dragons, you're shitting your pants. At Bag of the Day, you see you're at Revs, it's normal to have like five or ten people on your world, man. You're just looking over your shoulder, but you're not gonna log out. You know, you're just chilling there, farming, farming, farming. Dead sometimes. There, that area does not exist in the wild. There will never be an area like that that exists in the wild. Um, it was great for clans. It was great for even single PKers, small groups, anti PKers. Only thing it wasn't great for was Iron Man. Mm -hmm. And why do I yeah. have a feeling that played mm -hmm. a big part in it? Why? I, I mean, don't know. So like, I'm just sat here thinking about, like, the fundamental flaws with uh, Revenants the way it was. And I would it was say just there's... Too packed. It was just too there, There's There's two it's things rough. I can think of, right? Firstly, uh, with the Morty as it is, very easy for a clan, team, whoever, to completely dominate and camp that area down, which, as we know, was a reason to why they removed it, because there was a lot of, there was a lot of money coming into the game that was just like, you know, there were clans that just had entire worlds that were theirs, and you couldn't go in those worlds. So that was like a fundamental issue. Um, and also I imagine that probably tied into a lot of like RWT, uh, people were buying services for protection and stuff, like a lot of stuff that I imagine Jagex is against, right? But like, to throw back on top of the idea I just had for some sort of crater, like where the multi isn't traditional and it's like the deeper you go, the more risk there is and the more people that can attack you at a time. It kind of removes that aspect and issue, right? So it's mm -hmm. like, if there can be a maximum of like three people on you at a time or like four people, whatever, it's a lot more manageable to be able, there's a counterplay to that. And that's being in a team yourself to be able to fight back or having a group of friends that you go and do that activity with, right? So it's like you guys can actually fight back and make it so yeah a like i think thing, yeah like honestly like the the secret fatal flaw to it was just the fact that all the revs was in one place to be honest you know yeah, yeah that was another yeah 
that was kind of like the main the main problem is that like you you basically were forced to go to that place where clans basically control the area and there's not a whole lot you could do you know to really like mm -hmm. actually actually like try to like you know properly try to kill them for drops without having to yeah it was just it's just very much so you know like there could have been easy fixes they could have just added some more reps in the other area of the you know of the caves it's huge that place is freaking huge but they decided to put it all literally in one spot which was kind of you know, that was one like, of my first things because back like, like they when, didn't have to you know they could have just split it up a bit right and kept the multi it would have been fine you know because yeah. then everybody gets a bit of everything right you get your clans to do your clan stuff but then they they also can't lock down everything which is good because like it, yeah i mean that's kind of like the flaw was that they just pit everything in one spot which is stupid they just needed to add some other revs in another place so that way not everybody was forced you know everybody gets a bit of everything right and it was easy and you could Make it so that everybody gets a bit of everything. But, like, I don't know why they just don't... I don't know. They just didn't think... They didn't think it through. Like, it's just silly. They really could have split those caves apart, for real. And then yeah, it like, would have the put a lot yeah. more pressure on clans to lock it down. Like, Rexy was saying, the biggest problems were that people were doing protect clans, and then the gold was coming out. And then, of course, macing might be a problem, but that honestly wasn't talked about and still isn't talked about. Um, yeah. I actually had an idea that... I don't know if it solves all of it because a lot of the problems are scout bots uh just just these things they can implement through rune light that really give them an upper edge right it's you shouldn't be able to locate somebody on like a level three account and then get like every info like oh he's four yeah. man, got a maze could be smited his here's his per level you shouldn't that information shouldn't be available to anybody yeah that's um, beyond our control for the moment <laughs> yeah so but but what they could do some, is just yeah they could easily bring back the multi just <clears throat> you know they can bring it back literally just bring it back because now they've already split up the revs a good amount right they could literally have a spot again where there is a, an above average density of revs and and it and it could be multi right and it's fine i'm so, down man like my yeah. idea right um no. was to maybe make a, i think i talked about a podcast too like uh, so say there's a ladder from like you go into revs you pay your 100k or whatever regular revs and then there's a ladder <laughs> You go down and that's multi. There's this whole layer of multi because there is under there. You know they they built under floor. Yeah, so they, they yeah they could totally yeah. do that. I... Yeah, and that's <clears> multi. <throat> and then there's a couple rooms, right? You know, spread mm -hmm. out. You can't control it all of one clan. It would be hard. The loot down below is a bit better, but if you die down there, it's double the cost, maybe triple the cost. So you got to pay two to three hundred k. That's not going to stop a lot of people, but it's going to stop <clears> those rag clans, right? Those people that yeah. just come in with the shittiest gear and get and get swarmed. Right. And if you do die down in the multi caves, the worst thing is um, back in the day is that they would just come back and attack you instantly. They just have swarms of people getting you out of that cave. Well, say you can't go back in the multi part for five to ten minutes. It's going to suck, but you, you can't literally have people just coming back and fighting. Right. Because then that's how they lock down worlds. You need to have one decisive battle and they're gone. They got to wait ten minutes to come back. You sweep all their gear, all their money. Better clan wins. There's multiple parts. And people can come down there and have a fun time, mm -hmm. right? Are there restrictions yeah. in there, like not being able to teleport or not being able to get away? Well, it would be over thirty wild. Maybe it would. Maybe it would kind of look like what that main area of Rev Caves look like, where it just goes from like thirty-five to twenty-nine, except no shitty fucking agility shortcut. The better mm. monsters are a little higher, and then it's just kind of spread out into areas well, like that, where it just kind of like trinkles. Yeah, like I, I think wild. fundamentally. Like, like yeah, I think fundamentally you just need, uh, you know, some singles areas for us and some multi, and a, like one or two multi areas for us where you you are rewarded more for being at a greater risky place. You know, I think yeah, fundamentally yeah. that's really it. It's yeah. just for some reason they just like it's either one or the other, which is like no, like why would you think like that? Like use your brain, you know, like you know, like yeah, you could literally it could be have one point five x. It could be one point five x drop rates in multi. Yeah. You don't need an amulet to know. That would only be for singles. And then they could even make it even spicier where like um, they could have like a multi-rev boss, but you need like 30 or 40 people to defeat it. And it has like mega loot. Everyone gets paid, right? We're talking like if it's on the floor, you grab it or it just despawns, but it's money. And then you just, I mean, we need something to just keep these clans actually active, dude. Because if they're not active, they're in other parts of the areas making those less active. I mean, it's not hard to lock down like Callisto. I mean, it's like eight people PVM at all times. You can lock those people down quite easily. So we need to give these people something to do and uh, just yeah. make it high risk, high reward, right? You go yeah. in there, you make I money agree. or you die. Amen. End of story. End of story. Can I, 
Can I add a aesthetic detail to this little? It's not room stalagmites, is it? Because there's so many stalagmites. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna be down there. But I was thinking, <laughs> do you know do you know the canoe that you take all the way up to Black Chins? Oh and you shit, know, yeah. You know how like the river just like goes Stops. into like the hill and just disappears. Yeah. What about if in the center of Revs? There's just a massive, like, imagine the big circle that's at Mage Bank, you know, the one with the stars. But instead yeah. of stars, it's like a whirlpool or something like that. And you jump in mm. to go down instead of a ladder. And underneath, it's like a continuation of that river. And it's like gone under the cave with stagmites and shit. Hell yeah. Jeez, that sounds, bro. dude, I, I like it. And it just I pops like it. you into like the most dangerous part, right? But say mm. it's like a quick getaway too, or I don't know, man. There could be so many cool ideas. Make it, it make so you can't you can't it. teleport, you can't log out, you have to wait twenty seconds, and you can only you can only leave by canoe. <laughs> <laughs> by canoe. <laughs> You're cutting the tree down getting PK, bro. Oh yeah. dude. And it's one of those trees that fucking attacks you back. The end oh, right it's gotta be oh, spirit, okay, okay, it's yeah. just knocking yeah. you back yeah, and shit. Yeah. Well, welcome oh. to the Twilight Zone of the podcast, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! These uh, any of this uh, shit hits a while. It's, it's good. It'll it's be active. Like, yeah, it'll be active. Boom! That's good. For it's a, sure. It's a banger. For it's sure. a banger, man. You know. Thank you. Honestly, I agree. Bring some of that multi back. There's nothing wrong with having a bit of both. Seriously, well, nothing wrong. You know, the sad part is with this single plus update. A lot of people think it's good. I don't know yet. We're gonna see how it turns out. But it's even yeah. taken more of an aspect from from multi away and from from that. So yeah. it's like we're losing the high risk, high reward. We've never had the high reward in the wild, right? We used to, but we're we're missing that high risk part now. It's just slowly fading from some of these wilderness areas. Yeah, no, I think the nuances you put into like, you know, into the detail of like the the multi, like you know, making sure like raggers can't just like over rag and stuff. I think th those those are fundamentally kind of like the 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 missing nuance, right? That would solve a lot of these problems, I guess. Thanks, so, man. And it seems yeah. like all of it can be implemented, right? We already have a yeah. dev tax. We already have all this yeah. shit. They could just Yeah, they just right need in. to really add that and the missing core pieces and then and then yeah. there yeah. you go. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like it's also like worth mentioning as a incentive mm. for Jagex is that there is like a huge key demographic slash audience of people that really enjoy doing more EPK. Like and the mm -hmm. amount of like potential that could potentially come from that, like whether it's a tournament or whatever, you know, it, it's like having a battleground for those people to effectively train, practice, whatever, just have some fun, like wouldn't hurt, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think I think one of the things about multi is that like it's not like multi PK is inherently an evil thing. It's just the way that it's just the way that it, it they've they've kind of set it up over time is that it makes it makes it just look like it's, it's all always bad right but like if they actually design the areas properly to accommodate for multi the right way then then it's nobody's business like you know like nobody's really gonna talk shit if people actually do the multi thing right if if it's because like right now it's like you're pitting the multi against people that don't really want to do that multi right but like they, they can literally create areas where it's just multi for the purpose of people wanting to take the risk to go there, right? For example, like like you know, at the start, right, revs was only in one place and it was all it was only multi, which meant that everybody that wanted to do revs had to go there, even if they didn't like the whole multi aspect, which caused a lot of drama, right? And it didn't have to be like that, right? Because if if at the beginning it was it was the choice of multi, higher rewards, and then singles for people that don't want to be a part of that, then there would have been no drama. Right, there would be no drama whatsoever. Right, that's it. Right, because then people get what they want. Everybody gets a bit of what they want. Right, the Ironmans get a bit of what they want. The people that do the multi for the greater risk get what they want, and they would have been fine. No, no, nobody, you know, no drama. But because they designed it so poor in the beginning, it caused all this problem. You know, that took it's so hard. long to fix, and then it, it's like now it's still not fixed. So it's like I'm having yeah. an idea here, and it's it's yeah. a bit ironic because you're bringing it up that. If multi revs existed now, they might not even have the same problems, right? Yeah, it wouldn't even be a problem, you know. Especially because, like, with loot keys, right? You could literally yeah. just farm those shit clans, and if they all lost a hundred k, you just farm all their keys and get the fuck out. I mean, they wouldn't want to come back and, and protect it. So, I mean, we almost have these these measures in the game now. They just they don't think about it. They don't realize that uh, 
You know, just like Green Dragon bots, right? We could farm bots so easily now with loot keys. <clears throat> like, there's just so many things you can do with the new updates. And yeah, it just, you know, they just didn't think it through, man. It's like the solution's been there all this time, man. It's just the, the design flaw. There's just such, such an overwhelmingly noticeable design flaw, you know? Yeah. Right. No. And I mean, I was so talk about green dragon bots. So apparently, if you just drop a dragon bone, they run into multi and you murder them, right? Wow. Super easy, <laughs> super fun. Loot keys. Hey, what can we do that? Why, why don't we have some fun? Do that. I, I need a warm up, man, because I'm PK. I'm eight. down tonight, bro. I'm down tonight, man. That's what I do mass wise. And uh, I just I brought it up because people don't That's understand hilarious. how fun multi PKing is and how simple it is. They just see Britting and they see the call outs and they see people do walk ins and stand unders and go. That yeah, doesn't look like fun. I don't want to learn that. Well, yeah, it's you just, just quick on something. Putting, yeah. And mm-hmm. you see a big number, and then yeah. dopamine goes, Ooh, big number, man, dead. I love this yeah. shit. So when I was <laughs> out farming bots, and there'd be like five of them, and they just insta die, my viewers like, Please don't go. Let's keep doing it. They were so hungry for that content. So I almost think that a lot of people are missing the best content in the game. And they don't even know it, right? You just mm. got to take them out in the wild. They don't want to stop. Right, especially even even just green dragon bots, they were they were losing their mind, bro. People need an area to just go out, quick, easy, fun. Mm. Not a lot of brain power, right? It's like the woodcutting of PK. You just go and you you click on someone and you hope they die, right? There's a little more to it, but that's the basics of multi. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I think that's yeah. I think we kind of wrapped up a bit of everything today. Caught up and discuss what we have. Ah, uh, recrafting mini game. I'll talk about it next time. <laughs> We'll go into Not detail a, about a lot of these updates in in, uh, in future <clears throat> podcasts, Fed, for sure. We just yeah. skimming in on a lot of these. Yeah. Uh, yeah, boys. I don't know. Should we end it? We're an hour 16 in. Yeah. I think it's been yeah, really good, good so far. Let's do maybe it. Should we have everything. maybe, maybe like, listen, it's been a long time since we uploaded three months. Maybe we should have like a code word for those people that have watched until this point in the video. Bro, I think you already yeah. know what word I'm going to use. What do you guys think, though? Uh, I don't know. It's just like hiatus over, you know. Like we're back or something. Dude, I don't know how to spell hiatus. Yeah, I was gonna say no one has spell hiatus. That probably counts like ninety percent of our viewers completely out of common in because they're not gonna learn how to spell that, man. We back. Say we're back, you know. We back. We we back, bitches. You know, we back. Easy. Okay. Right. right. Thank you for watching, guys. Yeah. Hashtag we back. We back.